Hey guys, Dave here from Guitar Zero to Hero, and I cannot believe how fast this year has just flown by as Christmas is just around the corner. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a Guitar Zero to Hero Christmas gift guide for guitar players. So if you're a guitar player yourself, then forward this to one of your loved ones, or if you're looking to buy a gift for someone who is a guitarist, then here's my pick of great gifts broken up into three different price ranges. So let's start off with gifts under 100 US dollars. Now my first pick, and that's pun intended, for a great gift are custom printed guitar picks. Now there's really no worse feeling than picking up your guitar than reaching for the guitar pick to only realize that it's vanished into thin air. So for me personally, I like to buy guitar picks in bulk and custom printed as well. That way I never have to worry about losing my guitar picks and to the dismay of my fiance, these end up all around the house. So whenever I need a guitar pick, there's always one available somewhere around the house. In comparison, if you buy one or two picks here or there, then you're definitely going to lose them eventually. So not only can this be a very super personalized gift, but this is also pretty practical. Now, my custom printed picks come from a company called Grover Allman. They're Australian based though. So I've left a few links down below in the description to other manufacturers if you're in Europe or the States and you're looking for something in time for Christmas. Next up is the G7 Performance 3 Capo. Now I've used quite a lot of capos over the 17 years of my playing, but these are definitely my favorite. You can also get these custom printed as well with laser engraving. So another great personalized gift idea. Now these capos come with a lifetime guarantee, so it is a gift that will last for years and years to come. Now the non-engraved version of the G7 Performance 3 capo starts at roughly 54 US dollars, but it'll be a little bit more if you want to get the custom printed version. Now the next gift is a tool that is useful in many situations, but especially if you're looking to start recording your own acoustic guitar in your voice. So if acoustic songwriting is something you're looking to develop, then I would check out the Rode NT-USB Mini. Now I've got the Rode NT-USB myself, and I must say it's a really easy to use and incredibly reliable USB mic. You just plug it in and start recording. So this is the NT-USB, but the mini version is just 99 US dollars and it's the same great quality as well. And Rode make absolutely awesome mics, so you can't go wrong with Rode. My final pick for excellent gifts under $100 are the Diodario Pro String Winder and Cutter. Now this is an all-in-one tool when it comes to restringing guitars, so it makes things a whole lot easier. It's a super, super handy tool for, for guitarists because you're eventually going to have to change your strings and this is a great tool to do it. It'll also save you from fumbling around finding you know different tools like pliers and whatnot. Now whilst you're at it, you could also throw in a pack of guitar strings for whoever you're buying for. My favorite brand of strings are Elixir, that's no secret. I think Elixir strings, although they're a little more expensive than other strings, they last way longer, so it's definitely worth the money. Now my pick for strings, for acoustic, I use the Phosphor Bronze strings, the light gauge, and for electric guitar, I use the OptiWeb strings from Elixir. All right, now let's move on to gifts for under 200 US dollars. And now we're getting to the really juicy stuff. First off the rank in this particular price range is the Orangewood Oliver Junior, which is an awesome junior size guitar. I was able to finally get my hands on one and I absolutely love it. Because it is a super lightweight guitar, super small, it's really fun to play on the couch, uh, really great for traveling too. And the best thing about this thing is the price. It comes in at 195 US dollars, it comes with a soft padded case as well, so a really good quality soft pad padded case. And they also set it up before they ship it to you, so it's a really great value junior size guitar. Now, in short, at less than half the price of the most popular guitars in this particular category, the Taylor GS Mini and the Martin D Junior, you're getting a guitar that's basically 70 to 80% of the tone of those other big names. And the playability is just as good. Unfortunately, Orange would only do deliver to the United States at this time though, but this is a great deal if you're looking for a secondary guitar just to travel around with or to you know strum on the couch. 
My next pick for under 200 US dollars is the new Boss RC5 Looper pedal. Now, if you really want to improve on your improvising, become a better songwriter, or just you know get inspiration for your playing, then you know you 100% need a Looper pedal. And these are so much fun to play when you get one. You can actually spend hours just creating loops and jamming on top of it. Now this particular model, the RC5, is essentially the upgrade from the RC3. And at the same price currently, you'd be silly not to get the RC5 over the RC3 with all its updated features. Now the next GIF is a super handy tool for anyone who wants to learn anything off YouTube that requires two hands and that's the Vidami YouTube Looper pedal. And it allows you to basically rewind, fast forward, pause, play, and loop sections of a YouTube video all hands free. So you do this all by foot so that you can have your two hands to play the guitar and focus on that without having to take your hands off and you know navigate with the mouse and whatnot. So this is a really handy tool if you're someone who transcribes music a lot or if you watch a lot of YouTube guitar tutorials. So this comes out at 149 US dollars and it's a pretty handy tool if you're a beginner or someone who likes to transcribe music a lot. Okay, so final gift under $200 is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. If you're starting to get serious about creating and writing your own music, then you absolutely need one of these. Note that you will need extra equipment if you're planning on recording uh, acoustic instruments and, and vocals and that sort of thing. But if you wanna record electric guitar, then you can go straight into this thing and then use an amp simulator on GarageBand or Logic to start recording your favorite electric guitar riffs right away. So this is an excellent little interface and is pretty much the best selling interface on the market at the moment and for good reason. Now let's move on to some pricier gift ideas for perhaps the more serious players out there or for people who have a bigger budget. So my first pick is the Boss Katana 50 Mark II down right here. Now most of you will know by now that this is the amp that I use to record basically all my electric guitar lessons and I absolutely love it. It's you know really light, it's super easy to use and it's got a really wide range of amps and effects available to use. The other awesome thing is its versatility. It can be used as a super quiet practice amp or you could use it loud as a rehearsal or gigging amp with a full band. Now for any beginner electric guitarist, I think this is the amp to get. If you're a little more advanced and looking for more flexibility in how you can control your katana in a live setting, then I'd recommend paying a little extra and getting the Boss Katana 100. Now that Boss Katana 100 is compatible with the GAFC foot controller, which really allows you to have full control of your tones if you're in a live setting. Not only that, the Boss Katana 100 is obviously louder and it has an FX loop as well. So if you're a more advanced player and you're a more gigging musician, then the Boss Katana 100 is the one you wanna get. The Boss Katana 50 though is a stunning amp for any beginner or even professional guitarists who just want you know, a, a secondary practice amp or a backup amp. Now my next pick is for the serious players and songwriters out there and it's the Jamstick Studio MIDI guitar. So this functions as you know a regular electric guitar as you'd expect. So it looks like your standard headless electric guitar and it functions the same way. But where this thing really sets itself apart is that it acts as a fully functioning MIDI controller as well. So you can plug this in via USB into your digital audio workstation and play almost any instrument or any virtual instrument off of it. So it registers bends, slides, hammer-ons, and pull-offs almost flawlessly. I've done a full review and demonstration of this in another video, so you can check that out in the link in the description below. And this is the most expensive item on this list at $7.99 US dollars, but for the serious guitarists or music producers out there who are guitarists first and foremost, this guitarist is a game changer. Now, next on the list is a guitar that I absolutely love, and that's the Taylor GS Mini. So similar to the Orangewood Oliver Jr. earlier, it is a junior size guitar, so it's, it's lightweight, it's super small, really comfortable to play. So it's great for you know, playing on the couch or traveling around. You can usually find the Taylor GS Mini for around about 500 US dollars. So it is much more expensive than the Orangewood Oliver Jr. But you know, it's a great guitar and I, I love recommending this guitar for smaller players, or people who are looking for you know, a really long-term guitar that they could 
you know, buy once and sort of keep forever, this is a really great option. Now I'd say this might be a little bit on the pricier end for, for beginners, because as a beginner, you don't wanna spend all this money on a guitar and then realize that you don't even enjoy playing the guitar. So I'd certainly say it's for someone who's already an established guitarist and they're looking for a really great travel guitar that they can kind of keep forever. So that's the Taylor JS Mini, a really, really fun guitar to play. And if you give this as a gift to anyone, they will probably love you forever. And finally, last but not least is the Positive Grid Spark Amp. Now this is a 40 watt desktop amp and you can get some seriously awesome tones from this practice amp. Now, how does this amp differ from the Boss Katana that I mentioned before? Well, the main thing is that it is strictly just a practice amp. You won't be playing live or gigging with this particular amp anytime soon. In terms of inputs, foot switches and sends, there's you know next to nothing. So it very much is a practice amp that you'll just keep on your desk. I'd say the best thing about this amp is the awesome app that it comes with. Now they call this the Smart Amp because the app has some pretty cool features like Smart Jam, so you can create your own backing tracks and auto chords. So you can load a YouTube song and it will try to analyze that song and give you the chords in real time as you're playing. So certainly a cool practice amp here with cool features if you're really into you know, app integration and that sort of thing. Now this amp retails at $399 US dollars, but at the time of recording this video, I saw that they had it on sale for $289 US dollars. I also have a review for this amp if you wanna check it out in the link in the description below. So there you go guys, 12 awesome gifts for guitarists, whether it's for yourself or for someone who you know that's a guitarist. Now if you have any questions about these, then let me know in the comments below. And let me know, what are you looking forward to treating yourself with this Christmas? Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this, then hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.